Hello, and welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, episode 29, otherwise known as Mass Effect 2, episode 1. Um, yeah. So, I've had to mess with some config files just to get the settings to save, so we're not going to delve into the settings, and I'm going to hope it lets me pick my difficulty when I click New Game. And hopefully, it will let me import my save file. Now, I know in the last video, uh, number 28, I wanted I uh, wanted to see what happened if I click resume. And it took me to before the boss fight with Saren. I went and completed the boss fight again, chose the exact same decisions I chose previously, and got to the credits again, just in case it had reverted that save file so it didn't think I'd complete the end of the game. So we should be good to go. New game. Import Mass Effect 1 character. Which save? I think they're just the same. Let's try save two. I, I had 200 saves. Combat difficulty. Insanity. Uh, automatic level up. No. Squad power usage. Off, because I like to pick what they use and auto save on. Insanity edition. Ooh. <laughs> right, I'm very excited. We're playing on insanity. There's quite a lot here that just shows what's happened in the last history. So our name is Gnome Shepherd. We are level 55 or rank 55 going in. That's because in Mass Effect 1, I made it to level 27, so that clearly averages out to about 55-ish. I am a Infiltrator. I'm Paragon! Fully Paragon! Rex survived the mission- Rex could die?! Well, I'm glad! Ashley was killed. No one cares. The council was saved by me. And Anderson has the seat on the council. Yes, it's happening. Ah, I'm excited. I have absolutely no idea how loud this is going to be, by the way. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Yeah. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero. A bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the Galactic Community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity's membership in their prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all organic civilization every 50,000 years, have returned blah blah blah. For fuck's sakes! They never give you enough time! We're on a mission to fight the Geth. Post whatever happened last time. That's what you need to know. On the Normandy. There's Exo Presley in the background, I'm sure. Disengaging FTL drives. Chakras. There she is. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days oh, searching Presley. up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. 
Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Just imagine you know signatures. Oh damn! The cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't <coughs> Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a get ship could possibly. It's not the get. Brace for evasive maneuvers! They'll be here. The Alliance would abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. There's no time to argue, dude. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. Come on, Caden. I saved you in the last game. You sexy bugger. You had a great ass in that suit of armor. I'm just saying. Everybody in. Go, go, go. Chakwas is in. I don't see Presley. Oh, no. That person's dead. I don't know them. Five evac pods. Man, the Normandy is dead. She's so pretty as well. Wow, okay, so we're at the uh, get to the cockpit in the upper deck. The game looks gorgeous, by the way. Joker, your ship is dead. I'm just gonna go and check all the other rooms. You know, uh, <laughs> that's the mess hall. The elevator's gone. Let's go up this staircase because I never went up the other. Joker, your baby is not even slightly held together, dude. The command deck's destroyed. Chairs are everywhere. And I'm in sexy N7 armor. Hold on. Boop. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I'm far too entertained by the idea of booping chairs. Let's talk to Joker. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Don't throw your life away, idiot. Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Yeah, we definitely broke his arm, but I suppose at least he's alive. Oh shit, we dead. And our suit's decompressing. 
The Joker's a bit more alive than me, right? Are we just going to go up in flames right now? I didn't remember any of this. So, yeah. What an intro to a game. Now, Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the M events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Go on! The interactive backstory comic. Ooh. Fancy. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. Look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. We're not going to talk about Jenkins. Who died. Tough, disciplined. Ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. They hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. And that's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime. And there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved. He told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Talon. A tech expert with a... Just gonna say it now. Rex with short sleeves is even cooler. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans. 
then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara, a Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Venezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal. Finding Sarah. Yeah, I didn't date anyone. Sorry, only interested in Tally. Venezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Venezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Venezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. <clears throat> I tried to reason with Venezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. <laughs> she claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the Queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage. A disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base. And all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it. That these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. Yeah, we saved finally him. got to the center of the base. I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. He'd spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. He wanted me dead. He wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. <coughs> Space racist! That 
was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a soft spot in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? All of them. We I mean, none Ilos of them. close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. <laughs> it was intact, but heavily damaged. Sorry, look at Garrus he there! The Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. He actually shot himself. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Guess they didn't want to panic. Just another routine mission. That was a really cool little comic to just recap every decision we made. So I'm happy with that. Uh, is this a planet? Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed. Oh, we're being brought back to life. 
We have like two bones in our whole body. Did you see that? Oh, damn. Achievement unlocked. Missing in action. Except in for imported pet face. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with the imported face because honestly, if I change the appearance, it's going to get weird. Um, so, yeah. Right. Choose class enhancement. So we can change our class up now. Uh, so these are high-fitted operatives, lethal accuracy, all about the guns. In the last game, I used about one gun the entire game. I was all about snipers. That was infiltrator. How's that? So tactical cloak, incinerate, AI hacking, sniper rifle, heavy pistol, SMG, cryo, and disruptor ammo. Hmm. That's pretty good. Vanguard's L5 implants. Holy shit. Mm. Sentinels. So these are like tech tanks. Adepts are very uh, special biotics and engineers. You know what? We're just going to go Infiltrator again. I kind of dig the whole, I'm sneaky. You know, I think it works. We're still an old, soul, old the soul survivor. There's Gnome Shepherd. Let's accept. Yeah. That's us. Reacting to outside stimuli. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Seven, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Our kid's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Steph's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another go. Now. <sighs> so they knocked us out. Steph's falling back into normal. Hello. Wake up, Commander. Oh shit, our face is scarred as dicks. Oh, okay. Facility under attack. We've just leveled up a whole bunch, I think. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and This pistol off. doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. I'll get you a clip from. Damn it. Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Okay. Space is cover. Okay. Someone F is exit. To kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Okay. Space is cover. F is... Oh, look at that punch. Nice. So I've got a pistol. Okay, I've got my cloak and everything. Sorry, I'm just checking everything I've got. It's very important. I'm going to pop my first save of the series. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go into squad and immediately spend some points if I can. Hmm. That's weapon damage. So we can evolve our operative immediately into 
An assassin or an agent? I think an assassin would be good. Because you evolved at the max level, right? So if I purchase this rank... Up to three, because I want more weapon damage and health. It's where we sort of lived in the last game. I've gone very, very all in on this, immediately spending the points, but yes. There's a thermal clip here. So now the game has ammo. There's mechs? Oh, yeah. Took the head off. Keep moving, we need to get you to the shuffle shuttles. So, yeah, now there's like a proper ammo counter in the game, as you can see there. It's going to be quite intense. Um, I'm also going to have a quick run around. I want to make sure I'm getting all the loot. Man, do I look sexy. I'm maxed on ammo. There we go. Now I'm not. Now, uh, just carrying on my powers. Two is Tactical Cloak. Three is Unity. Unity can go on eight. Uh, tactical Cloak can go on three. And one can be Disruptor Ammo. Okay, we're good. Disruptor Ammo. Another headshot. Disruptor ammo helped. Getting cover. Cloak. The cloak was useful. Okay, so the shield regens, which is good. I'm missing everything. <laughs> Woo! Took a bit of damage there, but we got there. I think I used Disruptor Ammo immediately. Can I turn that on or off? Shred synthetic targets. Disruptor ammo is going to be really useful for this section. Let's grab some ammo from over here. Okay. Push on. This cloak's going to come in handy. That's a big mech. Okay. Not wasting time. Grenade launcher. That went pretty well. Back to the pistol. Okay. Let's take the elevator down. Okay, I just got a storm through the fire. Okay, it's the whole thing happening here, clearly. Let's open this. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Coughing my tits up. Cerberus laptop with data logs. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Okay. So that's about me. They brought me back to life. Is H still put away weapon? H is put away weapon. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. 
Oh damn, my face glows. Okay, guns out. Let's push up. Oh, hi. Okay, Miranda's rude. Okay, a little rude, but let's see what we can do. Who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Just a few questions. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Oh, damn. Where is here? This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. What about my crew? Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Okay. So, pull. Okay, pull that guy then. Yank that one into the abyss. That's pretty okay. good. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Okay. What about my injuries? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Your teeth are horrifying, man. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. That's Project Lazarus. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Oh, damn. Why are we being attacked? You know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. What about my crew? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Aww. Everyone else, including the Alliance crew, the Asari, the Ara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Oh, that's good. Where are they? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. I want to find them. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Okay. Let's have a chat about you. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. 
I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Okay. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. She right. guess she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you. Now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? It didn't sound good. Gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. All right, let's go. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wave. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Who's that? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. Service tunnels are this way. <sighs> okay. Quite interesting. Is there a way for me to take off? I don't think there is. Oh, he's got six points as well. Oh, it says N7 for Shepard. That's cute. Uh, I've got no more points. I have got one point in my tactical cloak, which is nice. Let's talk to you then, Jacob. So you're a biotic. You've got pull, incendiary ammo. This is all weapon damage and health. You do have barrier, which is going to keep you alive. But what do I need to get barrier? You need to be loyal. Okay. So... Let's go for as high up this as we can go. And let's get you a Cerberus Operative rank 1. That way you're going to be decent. Cool. Yeah, I don't know how to like turn on and off my ammo type, but I guess it's just permanently on right now. Okay, little... Flashy and the lights are flickering. This episode might be extra long because the intro's um, an intro. Damn it, Shepard. Crawling with Max. The whole station is crawling with Max. I'm doing the best I can. Thanks, Wilson. I love you. You sound nice. Not sure how I feel about this guy. He's a bit, uh, grunty. Oh okay. We're going. Ooh, a laptop. That would be really funny if I came back full renegade then. Anyway. Shepherd, down here. You're fine. Bastards got me in the leg. Hi, I remember you. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Got metagel. Left shift to access the command menu. Mouse over my unity power. Ah! Unity now uses metagel. Okay. I can just press 8. That'll do it. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. I guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. 
Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't trust him at all. Because there's no mechs in this room. Doesn't look like he killed them. So it looks like he shot himself. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe. Then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Yeah, but she tried to help me, so it doesn't seem like either of them. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Oh, okay. Can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. On charge! Next on the window, quit! I can use overload on the crates. Who's got overload? Oh, you have. That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh. I just blew him up. I don't think that's what I was meant to do, but okay, yeah. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. The pile of shit! They're fucking horrible! I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Sarah. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. That's Once fair. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive what? The elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I'm not going to work for Cerberus. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Kind of true. I'm not going to work with terrorists. You were horrible experiments that you did all the damn time in the other games. I'm not working with terrorists. And we're going to pop a save. And we're going to push forwards. There's a data pad here. Some money! A lot of dead people around here. Bit nerve wracking. But hey, it is. It is. Okay, hold up. Shield. Not my ability. Took care of. There's another one there, hold on. Good so far. Okay, I'm good on ammo. A lot of different ways I can go around here, so I'm going to have a good run around, check this whole area. If I press M, do I get a map? No. Oh, I have a radar. Well, that's about it, really. Oh, my. Okay, hold on. Uh, overload. Well, that didn't work. Uh... Lift. Okay, well, we managed to miss them all. Yeah, 
I've decided that actually spam firing seems to be a better option than going for constant headshots. Okay, that worked. Let's check out the personal vlog. Yeah, you will. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Test subject has Okay. Been so what what I've learned is two things. Number one, Cerberus is paying me a bounty for scanning tech. That's why I'm getting money from scanning tech. Uh, number two is Wilson seems to have been able to do cellular degradation. If you ever put uh, marshmallows in a vacuum, your cells would have done that, but I'm pretty sure they would have popped at some point, so that's interesting. It's locked. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Is that your idea of due process? Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. So you're an arsehole. Well, now you can't question him as well. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. God, I hate you. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Yeah, are you always a colossal douche? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Rude. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Some might have survived. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. Jesus Christ. Christ! We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going then? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. And if I don't come? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Well, you're a horrible person. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Well, that is a hideous looking station. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and 12 days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid. Raised mostly on one ship or another. 
You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died in Akuz. You were the only one who lived. Yep. Satisfied, Miranda. Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Oh, fuck off. You'd have done that. We really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there. And I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Oh, damn, that's a big station. Ugh. Okay, this is a man is waiting for you in the other room. Perfect time to end the our first episode. For you in the other room. So, thank you very much for watching. Much love from me, and I will see you next time.